Hi folks, Paul here again with yet another 3D printed object for my early Nissan Leaf. Uh, this is the transport lever on some 2011-2012 Nissan Leafs. Um, here is the original and this is a 3D printed version. I've done one in black as well uh, with a nice wee logo. Uh, sometimes these the original ones snap off across here uh, so in that case you might as well 3d print a replacement like this and um, so the purpose of this video is just to show you how to replace it step one is to remove the bolts under here and i've already loosened that one so you don't have to waste time watching me unscrew both of them. Uh, it's a 10 mil bolt, then it pops out like that. And then if you twist it over you can see how it works. There's a cable that comes in and it slots in there. And uh, so does the other one, the 3D printed one. And in order to remove the old broken lever you need to remove this steel pin and in order to remove the steel pin you need to squish this end uh, so normally it comes splayed out which holds it in place uh, so you need to squish it which i've already done uh, and i haven't unsquished it uh, the way i squished it was to attack it with a horrible old pair of um, pliers and just squeeze it and then squeeze it all the way around in order to scrunch it into a smaller diameter so that you can push that uh, pin all the way out. Okay, so once you've squished all that the technique that worked best for me was to get a pair of pliers like this and squeeze the uh, flange on this end so that it it pulls the pin like through that way and as you do that then take another screwdriver and shove it in so that you can keep the old spring in place. So you see that's holding the, the other lever and its spring in place. Then you can pull the whole thing apart. If you're lucky, you'll need... Right, so that comes out like that that there's the spring that you need to keep track of and then if you turn this around you can pull that out and then just unslot it like that so you put that in there and then comes the fiddly part you have to you can leave this disassembled you put the spring back in place spring goes in place right spring in place so you have to hold it with one hand and then with your other hand Position this back in place. Oh. Here's where it gets tricky. So line that up as best as you can. Okay. As long as you can do this one piece at a time, so once you get this part in, 
Okay. So I've got the first little bit in, then you focus on the spring. Right. Whew. So now I've got the pin in the first hinge and the spring, and things start to get a bit easier. So now I've got the pin through here to here, and I'm going to line up the spring, push that out, and now we're almost done. Okay, so that's in place, finalised that, so that's in place, that's good, that's good. Now I've got to get this back in its slot, so that goes in there, that one's in there, that's good, twist that, that goes in there, screw that back in, and the other one, and you're done. Let's wear this through. Right. I'll just finish off. All right, that's finished. Um, the only drawback of white, of course, is that eventually it starts to look a bit grubby. So this is possibly a better long-term colour combo. In other news, I've done a bit more work on my static charge meter. I've now got a slightly larger display. The, the original one was a um, 0.96 inch only display, and this is a 1.5 inch only display. So it's much easier to read. And um, Apart from that, it works really nicely. I've got instructions on how I did it and uh, links to the software on GitHub. And uh, there's a 3D printed black frame that you can't see because it's so effective. Frame around the display. It's remarkably dark in there. So that's all online. You can download and play with that if you want to. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.